Hey everyone, Tony here, JP Wisco, back with another video for you. And today I'm just going to show a few Japanese cards, and I'm also going to do a few channel shoutouts. So first let's go to the cards. Uh, first up I've got a couple of these 1995 Kalbi Ichiros. So here's number 33. Here's what the back looks like kind of plain but has a lot of information and then I've also got the number 34 and you know as you can see these were a six and a five uh, the assigned grade for these cards a six and a five now you might know if you watch my channel that a couple months back I got my PSA submission back and one of the cards I submitted was a 94 called the Ichiro and it got, surprisingly, a, a 7. Um, almost all the other cards in that population are 9s or 10s. Uh, mine got a 7 with seemingly nothing wrong with it. And these two, uh, I think, have, a, have pretty astoundingly low grades attached to them. Uh, I just can't see a whole heck of a lot wrong with these especially with the rounded corners and things like that. They look nice to me. Um, so I don't know, maybe there's like a, it's like there's a guy at PSA that's in charge of these. And uh, for, I don't know, uh, maybe he has his reasons or they have their reasons. Uh, but all of a sudden it just seems like these Colby Ichiro cards are, are just starting to be graded really harshly, mysteriously, you know. I don't know, guys, you know, it's just one of those things where I don't fuss about these grades that these random guys put on there. And anyway, uh, that's all I'll say about that. Um, let's just move on. So I've got a 1975 Colby of Shigeo Nagashima. And this is from 1970. Yeah, from 1975. And this is from Nagashima's first year as the manager of the team. So his last year as a player was 74, and he basically just jumped right into being the manager of the team. Uh, he had a couple of stints as the Giants manager. This one, I believe, was from 75 to 80. And then he had another one a few years later that was also for a few years. So... 75 Colby, first year manager card of Nagashima. And I also have this 7, I believe this is also 75 if I'm not mistaken. This really sharp looking Sadaharu O. And I love the bright, this is actually a bright pink border. I think it's hard to see on the video. Uh, but the border is this really striking bright pink. Uh, really pops. It's a cool looking uh, card and, and unconventional for the Colbys because generally uh, they do not have any borders. Um, but this was a, a set, um, kind of a, I guess maybe a subset within the set that had these pink borders on it. Uh, and I really like these cards, so that's a nice one. Let's see, I got this 2014 Shohei Otani. This is a 2014 BBM. And I'm not really sure. Uh, this says um, bookstore special card, so maybe I haven't really looked into this much. Um, maybe you could pick this up at a bookstore or there, there was a promotion or something like that. Uh, not really sure, but it is a 2014 Otani. That would make this a second year overall card for Otani. His rookie year was 2013 in Japan. Nice little card there. And finally, I've got something that I'm real excited about. Well, I'm always real excited about anything I get, but uh, this is pretty special. I picked up this, uh, I believe, from the 50s. Uh, this is a, a vintage Japanese scorecard and autograph book. And on the cover here is 
uh, my man Fumio Fujimura of the Tigers. Um, so this is, here's the back. Um, I'm being very careful because it's, you know, I'm touching this with my hands. But um, So this is, as I said, this is an autograph book and a scorecard. And I'll show you the inside a little bit, being very careful here. Um, so as you can see, um, it has a bunch of blank spaces to get autographs of players. And then it also has, you know, uh, uh, you know, innings that you can fill in the score of the game. And this is uh, unused, so none of the pages have any writing in them. But just a very neat uh, piece here. So Okay, uh, so that's all for my pickups. Uh, next, I want to do a, some a quick channel shout out. So, uh, I've got three channels here. The first channel I want to shout out that I think you should be watching is Hardball Crazy. Hardball Crazy is just a really neat, no-nonsense channel. Uh, the kind that I really like, just looking at cool cards. And the coolest thing about Hardball Crazy is he's do he does this segment uh, called The Week That Was, or The Week in Baseball, where he... He kind of breaks down the highlights or the achievements of the week, the current uh, the, or the past week in baseball, uh, and he uh, uses cards uh, to show the players. So I think it's a really cool idea, uh, and I really like watching it. So give Hardball Crazy a visit uh, if you haven't. And uh, the next channel I want to shout out is uh, one that I have shouted out before, uh, that's Prestige Collectibles. Uh, so if you haven't seen this channel, uh, Prestige Collectibles is a channel that focuses basically exclusively on vintage Japanese cards and memorabilia. And so you'll see things like this or, you know, a lot of uh, cool vintage mango cards and things like that. I guarantee you you're going to see stuff you've never seen before on that channel. So if you're interested in Japanese cards or learning more about them, I definitely recommend uh, Robert's channel over at Prestige Collectibles. So, uh, And the last channel I want to shout out is a great one. Uh, she doesn't make a lot of videos, uh, but when she does, they're really excellent. And that's Nina S. So I want to shout out Nina S.'s channel. Uh, she shows vintage cards, modern cards, um, but th there's a lot of, there's a great uh, storytelling uh, element uh, to her videos. Uh, they're always very informative uh, and well thought out. It's kind of like watching a documentary um, every time you watch one of her videos. And, you know, I think it's really cool uh to see, you know, uh, a woman in the hobby uh, with so much evident passion and things like that. Um, so it's really neat. So please check out Nina S's channel. Um, and I'll put all of these uh, channels into the description of this video so that you can find them easily. So, all right, everyone. Well, that's all for me as always. Thanks for watching. Peace.